Hello, everyone. My name is Alicia. I'm with the Niagara North Family Health Team IT department. And today I'm going to show you how to use the patient portal Pomelo, previously known as Health Myself. To get started using Pomelo, first you will need to contact your family doctor's office and let them know that you would like to register. You will receive an email that comes from notification at healthmyself.ca. Be sure to check your junk mail folder if you don't see it. This is what the email will look like when you open it. We're going to start by clicking on register. Once you've selected register, it will bring you to this page. Each Pomelo account needs their own unique email address. Unfortunately, this does mean that everyone that wants to register will need their own email address, including children. For this tutorial, I've created a patient. We're going to call him Learn Pomelo. From here, you're going to select Yes, I Am to continue the registration process for yourself. The first step is to enter the first four digits of your health card, known as your shared secret. You will need to type in your unique email address and select Confirm Email. Be sure to select a password that you can remember or keep in a safe place. Pomelo requires a minimum of eight characters with a combination of lower and uppercase letters, as well as numbers and symbols. As you type in your password, you will see the items turn green with a check mark, as you can see here. If you do not include a combination of symbols and letters, Pomelo will not let you submit the password. Next, we're going to select a unique PIN. This PIN will be required to reset your password in the future. It's recommended to pick one that you can remember or keep in a safe place. We do not recommend using a PIN that can be easily guessed by others, such as the last four digits of your phone number. Once you've entered the PIN, you can click Submit. The next screen will ask you to read and agree to the terms and conditions. You can then click Finish Registration. You have now completed the registration process. Next, we'll go through a few things that you're able to do with Pomelo once you've registered. After registration, you will get an email that looks like this. Here, you can change your notification preferences as well as unsubscribe from emails. Niagara North uses Pomelo to send information to patients, such as upcoming groups or office closures. Once you've logged into Pomelo for the first time, this is what your home screen will look like. Let's take a look at the email system in Pomelo. This is your inbox and it works the same as an email inbox. Here you will see incoming messages from Niagara North. The first time you sign in, you will have a system notification message with information regarding the use of Pomelo. It's also important to note that the Pomelo system is not monitored 24-7. If you have an urgent concern, we suggest you call your family doctor's office directly. It can take one to two business days for a reply in Pomelo, and if your concern is of a more urgent nature, we do not want you to wait for a reply. Mr. Pomelo has a new message from his healthcare provider. Let's have a look. Here we've had a blood work requisition sent to Mr. Pomelo. You are able to open the attachment, save it or print it as needed. You are able to reply to this message as well. When you're finished with the message, you are able to archive it to remove it from your inbox. Now let's look at writing a message to your provider. In this example, we're going to send a message to reception at 145 Carlton Street. This screen could look slightly different for some patients, as each patient is given access to message the reception team for their healthcare provider. Being able to message your provider gives you easy access if you have simple questions, such as when your next appointment is booked or if you're due for a vaccine. Next, we're going to look at the appointment section. Not all providers are able to offer online booking with Pomelo. When you select appointments, you will get a drop down menu. Let's look at upcoming appointments. Here we have two scheduled appointments for Mr. Pomelo. 
He is scheduled with his family doctor on June 28th and a nurse practitioner on June 30th. Let's take a closer look. Once you have selected one of the appointments, in this case, the family doctor, here you can choose to add this appointment to your Google or Apple calendar, as well as cancel the appointment. Once you've selected cancel, it will ask for a reason, and then you can select yes, cancel it. The reception team for your provider will receive a message that you have canceled the appointment. This will also automatically open that appointment for another patient who may need it. Next, we're gonna take a closer look at your account information. From your home screen, we're going to select account settings. Here, we are able to change such things as your name, date of birth, and home address. From this screen, you are also able to choose your notification preferences and to link other Pomelo accounts to your own. If you have a family member that is also a patient of Niagara North, you are able to link the accounts together an example would be if you have a child under the age of 16, you would be able to link their account with your own. Also in your profile, you are able to change your password, update and review your security pin, and change your privacy settings. If you share a computer or are using a public computer, we suggest changing your screen privacy and automatic logout. This will give you the opportunity to have your account log out automatically in case you forget to do it yourself. Let's select password to change it. Once you've selected reset password, it will take you to this screen. You will need to know your existing password in order to change your password from this screen. If you have forgotten your password, you will need to go back to the login screen and select reset password. Here you will enter the email that you used to register and click send me instructions. Within a few moments, you should receive an email allowing you to reset your password. Be sure to check your junk folder if you don't see it. If you're still having problems or you do not remember the email address you used to register, please call your family doctor's office. They will be able to resend you a registration link. Once you have selected reset password, you will need your secret pin that you chose when you registered. If you're not able to remember that pin, you can validate your information online to recover it. The same as choosing a password before, your new password will need to be a minimum of eight characters, include a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters with numbers and symbols. Pomelo offers a virtual assistant at any time. If you're having trouble with your account or have questions, feel free to select Need Help on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And this concludes our tutorial today. I hope you were able to gain some useful information regarding Pomelo. For further questions, visit healthmyself.ca.